Hello there. If you are going to be traveling over the next few days, there is some windy weather on the way. Now, on Wednesday, the winds will be strengthening, coming in from the Atlantic around the top of this area of high pressure and bringing in a mild but cloudy air. And uh, with that weather front in the northwest, this is where we've got some rain. That'll push further east and maybe a bit further south, but most of the rain remains over the hills in the west where it's going to be very grey, misty and murky. There will be a lot of cloud, but it's going to be a drier day on Wednesday for southern parts of England and mild everywhere. Typical temperatures 10 or 11 degrees, but it will be a windy day on Wednesday. But the winds will strengthen further overnight and into a Thursday. And it's here that we have the greater risk for some travel disruption. The winds are strengthening because we've got that deep low running to the north of Scotland, then heading into Scandinavia and wrapped around it, we've got these really strong winds. How windy is it going to be? Well, it'll be windy everywhere. This is where we've got the strongest winds, 50, 60 mile an hour gusts. And across some northern parts of Scotland, we could see the winds hitting 80 miles an hour. It's going to be a windy day in Scotland with some sunshine and some wintry showers to the hills. Sunshine and showers elsewhere, perhaps, but some southern parts of England and Wales could hang on to a lot of cloud and see a bit of rain from time to time. Here, those temperatures will reach 12 or 13, but it's getting colder through the day in Scotland with those winds bringing in some of those wintry showers. And as the low pushes away towards Scandinavia, we get this push of strong winds through the North Sea some big waves, the risk of some coastal flooding as well, a bit of a storm surge going on. And uh, those winds are bringing in colder air, moving its way down across the UK, perhaps only briefly, mind you. But you can see quite a few wintry showers coming in across northern parts of Scotland. And then we see more cloud coming in from the Atlantic, bringing this uh, chance of some rain. And that's where we've got the milder air across many areas with the colder conditions continuing up towards the northeast of the country. So it's going to be Scotland that sees any snow, really, I think, over the next few days. And most of that will be over the hills. By the time we get into a Saturday, we're trying to push in this milder Atlantic air once again. It's a bit of a slow process. But you can see we've got this band of rain here. Following that, this is where we've got the mild air. It's hitting the cold air that we've still got in Scotland. So there'll be some more snow, particularly over the hills. But eventually, even here, temperatures will be rising by the end of the day. Now, moving into uh, Christmas Eve, we've still got high pressure to the south of the UK, lower pressure to the north. So it keeps us in these run of west to southwesterly winds. That's not a cold direction. And the winds are not particularly strong on Christmas Eve. But there will be a lot of cloud coming in the chance of a bit more rain. And if there is any snow, it's in the far north of Scotland. But these temperatures are generally a mild 10 to 13 degrees for Christmas Eve. Let's look further ahead. And we start in that mild air. You can see the position of the jet stream there. And every now and again, we're going to wander into some colder air, but it's mainly across northern parts of the UK as the jet stream slips a little bit further south. Nothing desperately cold at all over the Christmas period. And again, if there is any snow, it's more likely over the hills of Scotland. For many parts of the country, it's going to be quite mild. It may well be windy at times, and we're more likely to have some rain.